Um, hello, everyone. Thank you for your interest in our work. And today I will go through our most up-to-date paper, Victor, an implicit approach to mitigate misinformation by a continuous verification reading. So I'm today's presenter, Guan Jie Luo, and this work is a collaboration between myself, Shi Jie Dai, Ai Ping Xiong, Jin Zhang, and the Luo Ku. So to begin with, uh, Victor is an um, easy to apply module that work on top of a uh, dual supercomputer system. And based on our observations, uh, relying only on the pure recommender system, most of the users only consume either fake news or the verified news articles, but only a few had the opportunity to hear both sides' opinions. So um, such an unfavorable reading environment may promote the echo chamber and the filter bubble effect, and also encourage the spread of misinformation Therefore, in this work, we propose a victor to handle such issues. So the goal of victor is to uh, expose the verified news articles as much as possible to the readers uh, after they have read a piece of fake news article. And by doing so, we expect the user can reach out to a diverse viewpoints and will will be able to judge whether a news article is fake or real on their own according to what they have read. So in this work, we did not uh, focus on automatically detecting fake news. In contrast, we discussed um, how to effectively convey the verified information to the readers. Um, we observed that in the fake news area, most of the research uh, focus on detecting fake news more accurately or developing reliable automatic fact checking algorithms. While on social media, um, they sometimes add a warning tag beside the fake news article or directly expose the fact checking result. However, from the uh, psychology perspective, this kind of explicit uh, method could lead side effects to the users, such as the implied truth effect or backfire effect. Therefore, we propose a victor that try to deliver diverse verified news article to the fake news readers within a few recommendation steps and um, expect to implicitly change their mindset to the fake news. Um, to tackle this task, uh, we first utilize a recommender system to build a um, user preference graph that maintains users' reading preferences. And uh, Victor, uh, the module we propose is a reinforcement learning based intervention model that traverses the user uh, preference graph starting from a fake news. Then um, when, the, when the user views a fake news article, Victor will be activate and look for trials on the graph that will lead the users to the verified news article in a few steps. So um, to the best of our knowledge, uh, no current data set meets the requirement for tackling this task. Therefore, we construct a data set named very uh, uh, which consists of three major components, a uh, news covers, a set of fake news events, and a set of user browsing logs. Um, all of the news article in the uh, news covers was collected over uh, 31 months for four popular Chinese news websites. And we manually collected fake news events that featured at least one fake news and the corresponding verified news articles by checking the governmental and the trustworthy fact checking platforms. Moreover, to maintain users' reading preferences, we collected user browsing logs with the same period of news corpus from the news website to train the recommender system. And besides, uh, we labeled those users who had read fake news articles as the um, at-risk at risk users. 
and annotated their browsing logs as uh, risky sequences. So altogether, the statistics of the varied data sets are provided in the table on the right side. And in this work, we attempt to um, maintain the user's reading preferences. Therefore, we trained the uh, uh, recommender system using the varied data sets, um, news corpus, and user browsing logs, uh, which we built the user preference graph based on the results where each node presents the news article and each directed age indicates that the tail node is a, is a recommendation of the head node. Um, Victor is a, a reinforcement learning based model which worked on the user preference graph to find paths that link the fake news and their corresponding verification. Therefore, we defined the state of TIT as the illustration on the right side. Um, uh, the state uh, consists of the previous selected action, uh, AT minus, minus one, the current visit node NT and all candidate actions. Uh, including the set of outgoing ages as well as the connected nodes. And in order to better capture the semantic information of the news article, we first encode every node, uh, I mean, every articles by the pre-trained BERT language model. And the figure on the right presents the reinforcement learning agent architecture which is composed of an action encoder to encode all candidate actions, a history encoder to encode the decisions made in previous steps, and a state encoder to encode the current state. Um, all of the candidate's actions are rated by conducting in a product to current state. And a value network is trained to estimate the accumulated reward value. Um, in the experiment, we compare Victor with different uh, reinforcement learning modules, as well as merely randomly select from the re uh, recommender system's result. And below, we list out some interesting findings from our experiments. First, the poor performance of random select indicates that uh, depending on the recommender systems without intervention, still the needs users to the verifications. And second, uh, when the experiments become more difficult, the models with history dependent policy network maintain better performances, uh, which implies that the history dependent design uh, leads to better reasoning between the fake news and the verifications. Third, uh, compared to all baselines, uh, Victor obtained a higher verification proposal rate as well as a greater diversity, suggesting that the Victor's uh, value network, uh, in addition to estimate the cumulative reward value, also contribute to identify diverse verifications. And finally, we evaluate all models across two recommender systems. Um, the same pattern of finding shows that Victor can be used on a variety of uh, recommender systems. And furthermore, to exempt the uh, effectiveness or, of our proposed methods in practice, and also compare it to explicit intervention methods of aiding warning take besides the fake news. We conducted a file the user study. Uh, we collected the user experiments data from one and 65 valid participants. And according to the statistics, females, uh, indiv female individuals between the age of 25 to, and 44 with a bachelor's degree make up the majority of population. And we noticed that the gender, age, and the educational level disparities 
So in, in this user study, we only consider COVID-19 related misinformation to decrease the imp impact of the potential bias across different uh, groups. So in the user study, every participant should attend four days with uh, three iteration experiments in our user study website. And in each iteration of the experiment, participants would experience uh, one of the three iteration conditions with different model setting in, in a reading environment, including a pure recommender system without any intervention. The explicit intervention method that is a recommender system with a warning tag uh, to the fake news article and the proposed implicit intervention method, which is Victor. And each iteration of the uh, experiments include three test phases. Uh, participants will be asked to make variety judgment regarding a news article from pre-selecting news events during the test phase. And before any intervention, the pretext was uh, utilized was utilized to determine whether the participants could recognize the fake news and the post-test and long-term tests were used to assess the short-term and long-term effectiveness of the inter intervention approach. And we discovered some interest, interesting observations based on the user study. First, uh, Victor Vitter's greater exposure and the proposal rates imply that uh, despite the, the challenging user selection situation in real, reality, our proposed method can more uh, effectively deliver verif verifications to the users. On the other hand, uh, Victor's greater clicking rate uh, suggest that our implicit intervention method potentially boost users' intent to read the verifications. Moreover, compared to explicit methods, the sustained higher uh, sensitivity and lower bias to fake news in both of the uh, post test and non test shows that with Victor's intervention, users are more likely to discriminate between fake news and the real news in the long run. So in summary, to assist, user, uh, assist users in reading, uh, reaching out to verify news articles as much as possible, we propose the first implicit fake news intervention method. Uh, Victor led work on top of uh, any recommender system. Also, we introduced very a uh, data set suitable for uh, event-based news challenges. And according to the uh, results of, of my experiments and simulation, as well as the online user study, uh, the proposed method not only proves its effectiveness, but also reveals its potential to prolong users' sensitivity and the circumspection to fake news. Therefore, we feel that such an implicit approach is a promising way to safeguard liberty in times of crisis. So this is a quick overview of our paper and thank you for your listening. Please refer to our paper to see more details and feel free to contact us if you have any question. Also, you can learn more about me through the QR code and at the end, I want to thank all of my co-authors for their efforts. And now I'm happy to answer any questions from the audience. Thank you. Thank you so, so much, Guangxian. Um, I think you already have your first question from Pasquale Lizena. Is very public, is very data set public. Uh-huh. Sorry? Is very data set public, the data set that you oh, presented? I think uh, maybe we, we will public it later after we uh, sort, it, sort it out our data set, yeah. Okay, and then uh, you have a question from Kirill, please go ahead. Thank you. Uh, first of all, thank you for the presentation, very interesting. Uh, I have a question. Usually it has been shown that people are unlikely to click to the, for the information that is contradictory to their beliefs. 
However, you show that with your system with Victor, there is a higher click rate. My question would be, which part, in your opinion, which part leads to those click, um, higher click rate and engagement with contradictory contradictory information? Um, um, according to our user study, uh, the feedback from the users, they, they, um, they indicate that because you, uh, Victor will uh, deliver more diverse verified verifications to them. So uh, they will intend to read, read about that because it's, short, it's proposed to them uh, many times. Um, yeah, many times. So they, they will intend to, to look, up, look around them. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Um, yeah, Alex, please. Yeah, I was so it sort of relates a bit to Quill's uh, question, I think. Um, so your user study was with people who agreed to um, to be involved with with the program of the process itself. Um, so obviously, you're not going to have people who are getting information that they wouldn't necessarily agree with to the same degree as in a real world study case so um how do you how do you think um this might change once you move out into into um users who are not directly involved with the process because it's a recommender system and it's automatically involved and stuff like that how, how do you foresee um some of these things mutating uh um i think your your question uh, might be uh, because some uh, users are stuck in their echo chamber, so they, they do not want to, uh, they don't have any chance, or they, do want not, uh, they didn't want to uh, reach out to those uh, information from the other side, right? Yeah, yeah, that, that's a good that's a good way to put it. Um, th those are definitely users you'll run into. Um, so from our uh, experiments, we just want to uh, show up the, the information from the upside, the, the upside, the upside side to to the users, uh, and we are not forcing them to to reach out to to this information, but we just want to propose it as much as possible and telling the users that there are another voice from the other side. And, and we just expect uh, they can, after doing so, they can reach out to those information and change their mindset to, to the fake news, to the fake information, yeah. 